Hello, it's Randy Rhodes. Here's a clip from our show and go to randyrhodes.com for the whole thing and a podcast. Buy a stinking podcast. Mary had a little man, man, man. The fault. We believe that all men are created to the magnificent mosaic that is America. From radio beacon to radio beacon. Change has come to America. Believe me. Knock, knock. Who's there? It's hey! a figment of your imagination. Randy Rhodes Show. Turn up your own. Calls to end economic lockdown. Freedom is what we want. Freedom is what we demand. Protests fueled by the president himself calling for states such as Michigan, hard hit by COVID-19, to be liberated. Some labeling the president's response dangerous and clashing with his own guidelines. Under those guidelines, you need to see a decline in the, in the infections and fatalities, and that simply has not happened yet. This is some state governors say before they can begin to reopen, more testing capacity is needed, calling on the federal government to help. We're fighting a a biological war. Uh, we've been asked, uh, by the way, as governors to fight that war without the supplies we need. Every governor in America has been pushing uh, and fighting and clawing to get more tests. Sunday morning, President Trump telling governors to step up. Vice President Pence saying there's plenty of testing. We have a sufficient capacity of testing today for any state in America to move into phase one and begin the process of reopening their state and their economy. But scientists tell a different story. According to the COVID tracking project, 150,000 diagnostic tests happen in the U.S. each day. Harvard researchers estimate in order to safely reopen the economy, that number needs to triple. Uh, we've been kind of plateaued at that for about two, three weeks. Uh, it's ma mainly because we've just had no federal leadership on this issue. It's crazy that we have shut our economy down because we don't have enough nasal swaps. Despite ah. testing troubles, some states looking to lift restrictions in line with the White House draft plan advising some areas to begin reopening after May 1st. Vermont and Texas to reopen some businesses as early as tomorrow. Oh, Other states, including North Dakota, Ohio and Idaho, could begin by May 1st. This will not be an opening of the floodgates. Instead, we will slowly turn on the spigot. A quarter turn at a time. This is a new national NBC News Wall Street Journal poll says nearly 60 percent of Americans are more concerned the U.S. will move too quickly to loosen restrictions, causing more COVID-19 deaths. Yeah, so most Americans are on board with, uh, you know, we need more tests. We need lots, lots of tests. Oh, happy 420, everybody. Happy 420. What was I saying? <laughs> Well, you know, it's okay to have 420 on Zoom, I guess, because, you know, most of the time you're going to, you know, imbibe like that and you're going to end up staring at a screen. Trust me, I know I live with stoners. Uh, but go, go for it. It's uh, only 309. It's only 309. I'll tell you when it's 420 on 420. Uh, today is, uh, you know, uh, Monday. It's Monday. The only reason I know this is because Friday and Saturday end, well, they begin the same way, but they end differently. Friday ends with a hot tub and a beer. Saturday ends with a hot tub and a beer. Sunday through Thursday do not. And for me, that's, um, that's how I know. That's how I know what day it is. <laughs> there is no way to know what day it is every morning you wake up and are you hearing Sonny and Cher I got you babe every day are you yeah what was your weekend like what did you do did you do anything fun no because you're patriotic and you understand that you can't they want free they, you know let's they want <laughs> they want freedom <laughs> they want freedom over there in uh, Washington State yeah 2,000 people that was a big uh, protest 2,000 people in Washington State give me give me liberty or give me death no problem no problem <laughs> the problem is you'll become contagious and you'll give me death and I don't want the freaking death see therein lies your dilemma so please keep in mind that uh, it's liberty and justice for all right 
not just for the very bored people who can't stay home, not just for the people who don't understand that the problem is they can't get the money out the door. And when they do get the money out the door, it goes out the wrong door and it goes to the wrong people. See, and that's what they should be protesting because it's not just liberty. It's not just security. It's liberty and justice for all. And until and unless those people who want uh, you know, liberty or death figure out that they can have both, but they can't have that without hurting me. Uh, let's not pay any. You know what they are? They're like uh, branch COVIDians. It's the new cult is what it is. Yeah, the death cult is, the, they are the branch COVIDians. They want to die. They don't give a damn about their neighbors. They don't even care about their kids. I saw so many of these protesters out there with their kids and no masks and uh, there was no social distancing. The president tried to lie and say, well, you know, they listened to me. They listened to me. You know, I thought you said that in your plan that you put out on Thursday, on Thursday, that you had to see 14 days of declining death and 14 days of no new cases and then they could open up safely. That has not happened. So I, I don't know why he's doing this, but he's given these mixed messages, you know, and he knows that the protesters are listening to him. Urge those protesters to listen to local authorities. I think they're listening. I think they listen to me. Uh, they seem to be protesters that like me and respect this opinion, and my opinion is the same <laughs> as just about all of the governors. They all want to open. Nobody wants to say shit, but they want to open safely. Yes, so give the test. You know, go be a national leader and go uh, around the world and find the reagents. The swabs I found. I found the swabs. Yeah, I found them. He was so nasty to some of the, well, it's, it's almost uh, uniquely women reporters and Jim Acosta and Jonathan Carl. <laughs> okay, never mind. It's every reporter. Any reporter that asks him a question about what are you doing? to help America move forward. What are you doing? He doesn't want to do anything, is uh, what he wants to do, nothing. He wants to watch television. He's at home watching Fox News, and that is his complete and total uh, you know, give. He will not give anything more than watching television. It's, it's all the man knows how to do. He can't golf, maybe he can, I don't know if he saw on the slide doing it, but uh, so he just sits and watches television, and it's really pretty sad, and he, he tweets. You know, and he tells people to liberate Virginia and to liberate Michigan. After, I mean, this was Thursday he put, put out guidelines. About 14 days, uh, you had to see a decrease in the cases. 14 days, you had to see a decrease in the number of deaths. And then you could move to phase two. Phase one was stay locked up until 14 days of decrease, right? Uh, and so people, you know, the, the, the press asked him, why... Why in the world are you mixing your, 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 your messages? And they asked, uh, you know, Pence, too. What is the deal with this man? On Thursday, he gave, you know, a, a, a stay home until that happens. And then on Friday, he's tweeting, liberate uh, these places. Liber like, as, 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 if, as if this wasn't being done to protect the most amount of people possible. Okay? I mean, it's so sick. Why is the president do trying to... Um, undermine the guidance you've been laying out and that he's been I mean, he laid out this guidance on Thursday and undermined it on Friday right Chuck I, I just I don't accept your premise and I don't think most <laughs> Americans do either yes we do uh, the president's made it clear he wants to reopen America and okay. we laid out guidelines for every state in the country right to safely and responsibly reopen their economy at the time and manner of their choosing you called President Trump a weak person, a poor leader. Now, I understand mm -hmm. that he goes after you, so this is fully a two-way street. But yeah. do you think those kinds of partisan attacks by, in this case, you, are constructive in the middle of a national crisis? What I decided was that the president has made many mistakes. Okay, let's have an after-action review of that. Yeah. But if he continued to put forth proposals that were not science-based, Continuing his, you know, what do you say? It's a hoax. It's magically going to go away. Okay, put that aside. But to to proceed with policies which were not science based, which are not evidence based, and to blame others, name anybody, blame the governors, blame me, blame the World Health Organization, leaders, 
leaders take responsibility. It's so true. And he refuses. All he wants to do is watch television and agitate. He's like a toddler. He really is. Go to RandyRhodes.com for the whole thing and a podcast. Buy a stinking podcast.